Welcome back. Let's get to our segment, Midcap Spotlight. The stock on our radar is Parag Milk Foods. It's a private dairy player which has gained 30% in the last in this month alone. Uh, Manglam is here to tell us more about what's driving this rally. Manglam. Well, there is a lot of flows coming in into Parag Milk and they're coming in from uh, Nikhil Vora's fund and that's driving the stock ahead. But before that, you know, just take a look at the stock move itself. In the last 12 months, off lows, the stock's nearly doubled. In this month itself, it's gained almost 37 odd percent. But in the last five years, it's been a massive underperformer. In fact, uh, at current prices, it's almost 60 percent lower than what it was, say, five years ago itself. Why is it buzzing? Well, Nikhil Bora's fund has increased the stake in the company. In fact, the company informed the exchanges that Six Cents India Opportunities 3 has acquired 0.12% stake in the company, as a result of which their holding has increased from 4.93% to 5.05%. It's only once it crossed the 5% mark that they had to go ahead and inform the exchanges. But this purchase has been continuing ever since the start of the first quarter itself, because if you just take a look at the shareholding pattern, you know, Six Cents India Opportunities 3 held about 2.3% stake in the company as of 31st March, which has in increased all the way up to 5.05%. Six Cents India Opportunities 2 also has 1.54% stake in the company. What does the company do? Well, it is a leading private dairy company, but also sells products under brands like Govardhan, Go, Pride of Cows, Avatar, and nearly 70% of their revenue comes in from value-added products. If you look at FY23, the revenues of the company were closer to 2,900 crores with EBITDA margins of just about 5 odd percent. But this at a time when the dairy industry saw a massive inflation. We saw almost 47 percent rise in milk procurement prices in the last six quarters. And as a result of which, most dairy companies saw their margins compress. If this cools off, we will see margin expansion come by for all the other dairy companies as well. But in that period, the company has gone ahead and increased their distribution network by two times. They target three times increase in their distribution network by FI27. And for dairy companies, distribution is indeed the key. But what are the other triggers for them? They have their protein business, which accounts for about 7% of their sales right now. It has grown eight times in the last eight quarters. So further growth out there would be margin accretive. And e-commerce as well is margin accretive for them. That has doubled in the last one year. That growing forward would aid their margins too. However, just keep an eye out on a couple of red flags. The biggest one of them all is that out of three in the last four years, the company has reported negative operating cash flows. In fact, the FI23 negative, negative uh, cash flow from operations was close to around 194 odd crores, 149 crores in the previous year as well. And that's not all. They have funded this negative operating cash flow through increase in debt. So as a result, as a result of it, their FI21 debt, which was sub 400 crores, has risen all the way up to sub 600 crores. Okay, all right, Mangal. Thank you so much for giving us all those details, uh, important ones there, considering the stock has seen 20% up move in last two days itself.